Uh, it started basically because of my relation with President J.R. Jawadhan at the time. I came to Sri Lanka in 1982 as the senior energy advisor. And I remember I had a weekly meeting. The very first meeting I had with him, I took a three-page memo. He took one look at it and he said, look, this is not my style, Munasinga. I need a half-page memo with two lines with your recommendation. And I brought it back to him within the half hour. So he was very impressed. He said, how did you do that so quickly? Uh, with you, your steno must be very good. I said, no, sir. I have this computer I brought from the States uh, and this printer. And he was interested. In subsequent meeting I had with him, he asked me about computers. Then he said, I think we should know more about this technology. Could you write a report for me on this? That was the start of the presidential committee on computer policy. I realized I couldn't do it by myself, so we formed a committee. The National Computer Policy for Sri Lanka, or COMPOL report, which I was the chair, but we had Mr. R. B. Ekanayaka, Dr. Jayasiri, Mr. Ajit Kanagasundaram, Professor Sam Karunaratna, Professor V. K. Samaranayaka, and Mr. Yapa from Naresa was the secretary. So we had a superb team. We wrote the report in just four months. And we also, at the, in parallel, there was a national telecommunications policy report. I was part of that as well. Uh, Mr. K.K. Gunawadhan was the chairman and also Professor K.K. Y.W. Pereira. So there were three people on the telecoms report. And this is how the computer and communication side were linked together. The report was done very quickly in three months, and we presented it to President Jawadana in April of 1983. And we also said that government policy should enable, encourage, and support the way that the public and private sector use this technology. Uh, we did not want to over-control or over-regulate. So the policy formulation was very light. And we had always the development plan as the major objective. And using the technology not only to improve the productivity of the private sector and to help the infrastructure, but also the cultural aspects, the flexibility and dynamism, the quality of life, and so on. And we even had a vision for export of computer services in 1982, long before uh, the outsourcing from Bangalore and other countries. We had that vision in Sri Lanka. Uh, at the time, there were no countries in the world who had well-defined computer policies. This was in 1982-83. We had in the uh, COMPOL report, basically, the three elements which went into the, formula, the formation of Syntec. The computer policy report said there should be a board or council which would advise the president or the minister in charge. And we were uh, very clear that this should come under the president. We established the principle that uh, the president would be, at least for the first few years, in charge of this. We also had other elements, which are shown on the slide, which were part of the sector. It's very important to understand that Syntec was not the sector. It was part of the sector. Uh, I can speak in the 1980s, we had a very strong board that we had not only computer specialists, who included uh, Professor V. K. Samaranayak, of course, Dr. K. K. Gunawadana, Professor J. Gunawadana, we had Dr. Indurua, uh, Mr. R. B. Ekanayaka. So these were knowledgeable about the sector, but we had very strong outside sector experience. There were three important people, Mr. A.S. Gunasinghe, Mr. Akil Mohammed, and we had 
Mr. Kumar Natunga, who was in charge of the customs and excise. So not all, the board was strong because it had strength in the sector, but also links outside. Uh, at the same time, we were a role model, considered a role model for all developing countries at, in the 1980s. So we, as a computer and information technology professionals, should interpret that knowledge and help to make the lives of people better. Uh, that is basically uh, my take, and I think we will face that challenge well. We did it, I think, very adequately in 1982. I think we can do it well in 2016. Thank you. Uh, Nandri Stuti.